G'day, this is Ozeko. Let's play some EU4 Common Sense as France. And the just declared war on Norway is actually rather even. Both alliances have 23,000 infantry, 7,000 cavalry, and it's an overlord with two vassals. Although his vassals are a lot bigger than mine. But then, of course, we bring Austria in. He brings in Brunswick. <laughs> Very evenly matched. So, how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to send these guys up here. We're going to sit these guys over there. The boats are going to sit in the coast of the pharaohs. Although, he is going to be stronger than us. So, they're going to run away when they get attacked. Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Brunswick. Yep. Casualties. Where are we located? Four lights. Well, yeah, we need to have a go at them before they get reinforced. Already run away. Utrecht has entered the coalition. Find him. Let's go look. Oh, there he is. He's just going to keep running from us. It's going to be annoying. There we go. He ran into us instead of running away. Us core. Good. So what's that put us on? 37. Nice. Uh, these guys jump out on the 8th. Make sure they're not going the wrong place. Languedoc. Really Norway. you guys like to come in? Distant war. It's right there. You guys. Hmm. Our diplomatic reputation gives us seven, you reckon? Does that mean that if we took Diplo Rep guy, which we can't afford so we won't, he might have come in. Right, access from the edge and Cologne. Go for it. Get in on the 8th. There we go. So these guys will head over there. And that will take until the 20th, longer than a month. So we'll miss those ships when they come out. Oh, damn it. Hmm. As long as they don't sink our guys. He 
this coming in to reinforce. That's fine. <sighs> I'll leave these guys here. We'll pop over to this island. Right, core construction is almost done. Good. No rebels. Access the whole way, he's just not doing it yet. And the edge is over there. Alright, well, he's got no excuse not to do it. Lads, work to do. There we go. Right. Load up, and we will start heading over to Bugenschuss. Austria does their job, which looks like they are. Yeah, there they come. This should actually go pretty decently on it. Mm, this guy next. Oh, let's get them all together. Let's send them off in one hit. From Leinster to Paris. Morale of armies down. Well, it's not too tough. Come on, Connor, you want to come with us? 4th of May. And tell these guys to go there directly. Mm -hmm. Mostly Sweden. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Big chunks of guys. Once we're done, do we want to send our fleet in? Probably as long as it's not in their internal bit. Alright, we're going So take back Schuss with this guy in charge. Let's go and screw that. Put the better guy in. Nicely. 
Alright. So I kind of turned it around. A few things went horribly, like the thing with Sweden, or the thing with Navarre. Well, he's already integrated him. Cheeky bastard. And the thing with Naples. And now we've got the coalition thing going on. England and Provence and Utrecht. That's not going to get any smaller either. Alright, no leader, then go over there. Not actually allowed to. Fair enough. That's the last of our guys, so let's go over to Skagarak and help out that. It's the longest he's ever survived, I think. This was the other guy. It's usually Bureau lasts longer than the other one. Whatever their ages are at the start. Alright, we have another diplomat. Should we be doing something with him? Here we have Brittany and Knorr. Just keep this guy out for now. Until we need the diplomat for something more important. Hmm, I think we want to take Nordjylland as well. Oh, and there goes our guy. <sighs> Die within what? Six months of each other? Like that, and then we'll start spreading out. They're getting more guys instead of less. Uh, chance of new air at minus 100. Well, definitely don't want to do that. I know this guy's going to die if we do, so spend our papal influence. Three two isn't too bad, but now our guy has to survive for fifteen years. Peasant poor is still going, just not progressing. Currently at three percent. Right. One Akashus, which means we will split. Split these guys because Austria's already made it across, so half will go there and half will go there. Start spreading out a bit, not too much. They still have all their men. Okay, okay. right now. We're not in any immediate danger. I think we're going to do more attacking. So, defensive morale, I guess. Yeah, we'll hold that off because we're going to do a lot of coring in a sec. Is everybody six and one? No, they're not. Oh. Here he comes. Where's he going? Akashus. Now he wants to go up here. Six, twelve. 
Okay, let's go over here. It is grassland, so we'll let him do that. things. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, go ahead down there. Five thousand out, there's the rest of them. March. Mm. He's not going to help us. The morale is just screwed. We'll be done here on the 7th. Oh. Ah, French pretenders. Valentinois. Hey buddy, how do you feel about having access? They've actually got out. Weird. Alright. Trying to lag. Head up this way. And you guys will form up. Go to Castile and ask him if he wants to go take care of the guys for us. Uh, looks like they do not. comes the end. Yep. Trade range up. Might give us a bit more money. I don't know. Probably not that much anyway. So we're going to have to sit on these for a long time to get the coalition to go away. Once. Mm. And it takes months and months to get over there, so they're going to do that. Alright, everything's set anyway. As long as they are high, which they are, good. December. Should be able to get out of there in time. So just have to retake it and then take that land. Should be fine. Denmark? No. Ligeland? Alright, I have the diplomat. We want to do anything with him. 
much we can do, really, is there? Claim for once. Ah, uh, we'll do that. In the coalition, so go for it. Actually, no, we won't, because fabricating can make it worse, so we won't do that. Don't want to do anything to increase our aggressive expansion, we're going to do our best to get rid of it. Mm, five a month. Don't have enough money to really spare on that. take something in this area like Nyland or Viborg itself but Nyland juts out this way so if we go how many boats do they have? You know, we might want to actually take a look at if Denmark's going to be split like that um, if we take Nyland and like can't take Stockholm Smolland and Vestergotland. There, there, and there. Get us over that way. With a minimum of fuss, hopefully. Because the aggressive expansion over here hopefully won't spread down this way. Hmm. Especially if we need Norway alone. Which we don't really want to leave them alone. I don't know. Need six, we got seven. Works out. They are slowly dying off. Getting shattered around the place, good. No unrest issues yet, but that's going to tick up pretty quickly. Oh, Austria. We got them in time. And there goes Stockholm. Alright, what can we do? Eh, not too bad. So, Shetland and the Orkneys. Bump it up a bit. Not a whole lot. Let's take them now. We'll drop them if we need to. So, uh, we were saying Smolland and Vestergotland. Because you need Agda and Sohn. You need a measuring tool. I want to know if we'll be able to jump over Trendelag. God. Well, that's starting to make them angry. If we take it all, it's not too bad. Mm. Do Lapland instead of Finnmark, then we can do more over here after. Still not too bad. I think we're going to try and take this though. Men. Good. 
So we'll just roll around taking care of armies for a while. Fourteenth, twenty eighth, shouldn't be able to get out. How the hell did you get there so fast? Master dies, or we get stuff right. He's going to Smolland. I'd say he's going all the way through, though. We have a head over there and cut him off. Alright, well, I'm going to take a short break. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and I'll see you again soon.